What they just found inside a Boeing 787 has left the entire aviation world in shock. This isn't just a flaw, it's a potential disaster waiting to happen. You need to see this before your next flight. When the Boeing 787 was first introduced, it was hailed as a breakthrough, a bold symbol of ambition, and the pursuit to push aerospace technology beyond its boundaries. Dubbed the Dreamliner, it truly lived up to its name, capturing the imagination of engineers, passengers, and airlines alike. But in the years since, a series of technical issues has not only shaken the aviation world, but also quietly undermined public trust, turning that dream into something far more troubling. How did this groundbreaking aircraft become a source of concern? And is it possible that the Dreamliner could end up defining a darker chapter in modern aviation? Let's explore. Celebrated as a major step forward, the Boeing 787 entered service with promises of revolutionizing long-haul travel. The aircraft was designed with a strong focus on comfort, introducing a host of innovations aimed at enhancing the passenger experience. Among the standout features was an advanced pressurization system that keeps cabin altitude at about 6,000 feet, significantly lower than standard aircraft, reducing fatigue and improving comfort on long journeys. Higher humidity levels also help combat the dry air that typically leads to skin and eye irritation. The Dreamliner's windows, 30% larger than usual and equipped with electronic dimming, give passengers greater control over lighting and views without traditional shades. The quieter cabin, thanks to improved aerodynamics and engines, contributes to a more serene flight environment. Experts say though that after the flight disruption, Mark and Tom will pack all their stuff and devote a week to a state where more but perhaps its most revolutionary aspect was its construction. The Dreamliner was the first commercial jet made primarily of carbon fiber composites instead of aluminum, a shift that promised stronger, lighter, and more fuel-efficient performance. Many believed this was the future of air travel. However, that optimism has since given way to serious doubts. On March 20, 2025, the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration issued an airworthiness directive requiring operators to inspect a crucial part of the aircraft, the forward pressure bulkhead, which helps maintain cabin pressure during flight. The directive followed concerns about production errors, including improper spacing, misaligned fasteners, and deviations from assembly guidelines. While not posing immediate danger, the FAA warned that over time these issues could lead to cracks, corrosion, or even structural failure. This is just one incident in a series of ongoing concerns that have plagued the 787 since its debut. Since 2020, Boeing has repeatedly paused deliveries of the Dreamliner due to manufacturing defects, particularly involving the fuselage. In response, the company established so-called shadow facilities, unofficial repair stations operating outside the main assembly lines to fix over 120 aircraft. The problems date back even further. In 2013, the entire global fleet was grounded after multiple incidents of lithium-ion battery fires on board. What was once Boeing's flagship achievement now serves as a cautionary tale about quality control and oversight failures. And the list of problems keeps growing. Recently, a lesser-known but potentially critical issue was flagged by the FAA, a flaw in the aircraft's radio systems. In a publicly posted document, the agency revealed that the 787's VHF radios could switch between frequencies without any input from the pilots, a glitch that could cause dangerous communication failures between flight crews and air traffic controllers. Public responses on the FAA's website suggest growing distrust, with one commenter writing, Given Boeing's history of putting profits ahead of safety, I wouldn't fly on one of their planes if you paid me. An anonymous individual linked to Qatar Airways, a major Boeing customer, went a step further, claiming that communication glitches persisted even after implementing the FAA-recommended software fix on their Dreamliner fleet. 
The newly revealed structural issues in the pressure bulkhead have sparked deeper concerns about possible systemic lapses in Boeing's quality assurance processes. Although Boeing maintains that the aircraft remains safe, citing more than 165,000 successful flight cycles without structural fatigue, the FAA has still ordered mandatory inspections across all U.S. registered 787 models, from the minus 10 to the minus 10 variants. These inspections are expected to cost approximately $850.00 per aircraft, totaling around $115,000.00 for the affected fleet, not accounting for potential commercial service delays. Boeing publicly supports the FAA's decision and states that it's committed to addressing every defect, no matter how small. However, the repeated emergence of issues raises questions about whether this is just a string of bad luck or a symptom of a deeper problem rooted in the company's manufacturing philosophy. Since its leadership restructuring in the 1990s, when financial executives began to replace seasoned engineers, concerns surrounding safety and production integrity have steadily grown. Once considered a cornerstone of American industrial pride, the company now regularly appears before Congress to answer for lapses in safety and quality controls. Thanks for sticking with us. If you're finding value in these insights, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this video with others. Be part of the conversation and stay tuned for more aviation stories and analysis. The impact of these ongoing problems has been profound. The constant stream of setbacks has cast a dark cloud over Boeing, shaking confidence among regulators, airline clients, and the flying public. Where the Dreamliner was once admired as a symbol of aerospace innovation, it's now increasingly associated with technical instability. Trust, previously one of Boeing's most valuable assets, has taken a major hit. As a result, Regulatory bodies in the U.S. and abroad have tightened oversight, slowed down certification processes, and imposed stricter production controls. The internal challenges culminated in a major leadership shakeup last year, when former CEO Dave Calhoun announced his intention to step down by year's end. His exit is widely seen as the first move in an overdue effort to reform Boeing's leadership structure and restore confidence in the brand. Head of AI, Tamawaso has taken over as president of the company. The Dave Calhoun announcement came as the company's second step down by year's end in leadership structure and restore confidence in the brand. For airlines, the consequences are even more immediate. Ongoing inspections, retrofits, and compliance with airworthiness directives have significantly increased operational costs while introducing scheduling disruptions. With the list of Dreamliner challenges growing, some carriers have started to consider alternatives, namely, the Airbus A350. Praised for its consistent performance and robust design, the A350 has become an increasingly attractive option for airlines hoping to avoid the mounting technical risks tied to the 787. In a post-pandemic industry landscape where efficiency and cost-cutting are critical, the pressure on airlines to rethink their fleet choices has intensified. The decision to stick with or move away from the Dreamliner could influence their long-term competitiveness and reliability. The FAA's recent action on the pressure bulkhead issue has delivered another significant blow to Boeing's already fragile reputation. It not only deepens the concerns of airline operators, but also complicates Boeing's recovery efforts. These challenges arrive at a time when the manufacturer is still reeling from earlier crises, including the fallout from the tragic 737 MAX crashes in 2018 and 2019 that claimed 346 lives. To make matters worse, 2024 brought yet another event into the fuselage panel a number of times in a row when an air raid panel in Egypt miscarried during an Alaska Airlines operation. Incidents like these have placed Boeing in an increasingly difficult position, as it struggles to reclaim a reputation once built on safety and engineering excellence. But for the company, the challenge extends far beyond correcting technical errors. It involves restoring 
the very foundation of trust and quality that once set it apart in the global aviation landscape. This recovery demands a deeper change in how the company functions, collaborates with partners, and fulfills the expectations it sets for itself. While innovation and advanced technology are essential, they cannot replace the importance of rigorous attention to detail and a culture rooted in integrity. If Boeing cannot rebuild the confidence of regulators, airlines, and the flying public, then the Dreamliner, once hailed as a revolutionary step forward, may instead be remembered as a sobering lesson. A symbol not of progress, but of how poor decisions, ignored warnings, and shifting priorities can turn a bold vision into a costly misstep. What was once imagined as the aircraft of the future could ultimately become one of aviation's most expensive regrets. In today's high-stakes aviation industry, there's little room left for failure, especially in matters of safety. In an era of real-time news cycles, social media outrage, and intense public scrutiny, trust can vanish in a single moment. The Dreamliner, once Boeing's pride and a benchmark for modern air travel, now also represents how quickly that trust can crumble when issues in production and oversight come to light. The FAA's most recent airworthiness directive, this time focused on structural concerns around the forward pressure bulkhead, underscores the scale of the problem. It's more than just another regulatory requirement. It signals just how far Boeing still needs to go to realign with the unforgiving expectations of modern aviation. Industry insiders argue that these aren't isolated technical lapses, but signs of a deeper, systemic problem. What Boeing needs is not a patchwork of temporary fixes, but a sweeping internal transformation, one that addresses every level of its structure, from executive decision-making to supply chain integrity and on-the-ground manufacturing processes. Surface-level corrections won't be enough to convince the world that Boeing is on a new path. As Airbus continues to expand its influence with the dependable and efficient A350, Boeing's footing in the long-haul market risks further erosion unless urgent structural reforms are carried out with sincerity and speed. Meanwhile, airlines, under tremendous financial and operational pressure post-pandemic, are re-evaluating long-term aircraft choices. The operational instability tied to repeated technical faults has driven many to look elsewhere, and that's where ACT and some have already begun shifting loyalty toward manufacturers with cleaner safety records and fewer disruptions. If Boeing cannot demonstrate a clear, sustained commitment to safety and quality beyond media statements, this trend could accelerate rapidly. While the bulkhead issue might seem like a minor technical item to some, aviation professionals see it as part of a much broader concern. It raises a critical question. Does Boeing still place engineering excellence and passenger safety above short-term financial performance? Or has it strayed too far under the weight of market pressures? How Boeing answers this, not with words, but with actions, will shape not only the future of the Dreamliner, but also its place in the commercial aerospace industry over the next decade. This isn't just about numbers and aircraft orders. What's at stake is the identity even the soul of one of America's most historically significant manufacturers. What do you think? As a traveler, do you have any thoughts or advice for Boeing? Drop a comment below, and who knows, maybe someone at Boeing will be listening. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.